So if you want to record all your MIDI drum instruments separately, like the kick, the hats, the snare, and the crashes, but you want them all to be on one track, here's how you do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is bring up a new MIDI drum track. So click on the left where it says Add Track, select Instrument, go down to the drum machine that you want to use, and click Create Track. Then I always double click on the empty part to bring up my piano roll and then expand the track view on the left. Now you're going to want to enable the project for sound on sound recording. To do that you go up to the record button, right click on it, it's going to bring up your record mode audio preferences. Click on sound on sound, click apply, and close. Okay now we're going to record some drums. So the first thing I'm going to record is going to be the kick and the snare. Then I'll record the hats, then I'll record one crash. That'll be all in layers. Then I'll show you how to merge the layers so that you can duplicate and copy and paste without having any problems. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first comes the kick and the snare. Then we're going to highlight the track and hit Q for quantize. Click OK. Now we're going for the hi-hats. Highlight the hats, Q for quantize, and now we'll listen to it back. Okay, so far so good. Now let's add a crash. Okay, so now we have all of our drum layers on one track. But if you want to copy and paste or control D for duplicate, it's not going to work. If you notice, we'll control and D. Everything sounds good back here because they're all layered. And once you get to the duplicated part, it's just whatever the top layer was that you duplicated. They're not all merged into one. So what you want to do is we'll undo that duplication. And we'll get, go over here. You click the select tool. You come down here to the piano roll and select all of the notes. Then you go back up here to the wave file. You right click and go to bounce to clips. Bam. And now they're all flattened into one clip. So now if we bring this to the end of the measure and we hit control D for duplicate. It should duplicate all of the drum layers. And that's how you do it. So if you ever want to record drums in portions because you can't do them all at once like how I do it. Kick and snare and then hats and then crashes. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.